Ah, oh, JP, we love you, bro. Have an amazing weekend. Let's continue to be creative right now in the kitchen because we've done some crazy stuff. Um, this one is a kid-friendly breakfast recipe that is perfect for relaxed weekends, mornings or brunch, and yes, for the adults as well. We are talking about French toast waffles. Mmm, a fun and delicious way to enjoy the taste of French toast in the form of homemade waffles, yes. Finishing off with uh, some maple syrup, my favorite, and of course some berries because we can. This is what happiness is made of. Michaela, can I have a happier face, please? There we go, that's a happy <laughs> face. Um, this is a daunting recipe, but it shouldn't be, right? Is it though? Because It's really not. It, uh, I just, there's things, I like destroy waffles and pancakes and flapjacks. For some reason, I just can't make them. Maybe it's because it's always starting from a batter. Uh -huh. In this case, you aren't really making a batter. You're just making like a, a salsy <laughs> bit that you dip your bread in. Oh, you've saved me already. See? I love it. Okay, now the flavor is going to be all important. Yeah, okay, well, actually, it's not all important because the bread is going to be quite important. Now, which yes. bread have we selected here? A brioche. Yummy. I love brioche. What is it about a brioche that makes it so special? Why does it's it look like It's the eggs this? and the butter and the milk that goes into it. Okay. It's an enriched dough. It's been so enriched. <laughs> if you make a good brioche, it actually takes like 24 hours. So you make it the day before, you prove it, bash it down, prove it again, and then allow it to prove in the fridge, which is a slower proof. Okay. Oh, it's incredible. That's when it starts to get really yeah. healthy, enriched. 100%. Okay, so what's going into enriched? <laughs> And um, what's going into our, the batter that, well, the, the sauce of well, egg mixture, I don't know what you would call that professionally, that our egg is, our bread is going to be dipped into? Eggs. Mm -hmm. Did you just, did you say bread or did you say eggs? I got confused there. <laughs> I don't know what was happening with my brain. Eggs, cream, mm. sugar. Mm. We have some cinnamon. cinnamon I yes. love cinnamon. Mm -hmm. A little bit of nutmeg. I'm only yeah. using a little bit of that because nutmeg's not my fave. Okay, but you can always nutmeg. add more if you love it. But just Sal. Be... Be restrained. And vanilla essence. Okay. Boop, boop. Beautiful. And you literally just whisk that all together. Yummy. I just mean, I'm sure thinking, I love the idea of a brioche. You could use like a little raisin loaf or something yes. like that as well. Could be quite tasty. Chocolate chip loaf. Ooh, get out of town. And then you've got the berries and the cinnamon mix as well to kind of balance that all out. It's going Maple to be spectacular. Maple syrup. And, and the I... best part about a waffle mm -hmm. is the little holes. To hold the that syrup, hold... yeah. Exactly. Come on. Exactly. Get out of town. Okay. I, I like the maple syrup profile because of the, something I, I was trying to ascertain, like an earthiness, or there's something about maple syrup that's just, it's not too intense, not like a golden syrup that's just going to blow you away. Yes. It's, just, it's a bit more balanced. Okay, so I see okay. that the tricky part is making sure that you don't break the bread. Kind of break your bread. Okay, drain any excess off. Okay, otherwise you will have little strings of scrambled egg. Did you hear that? Did oh, you hear that goodness. sizzle? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And you could ask, and you spray your your um, little waffle pan with a bit of spray and cook oh, there just to be there careful. There is some but butter there. Could you just um, pretend as if I did it? Yeah, no, I, I guarantee <laughs> that our <laughs> kitchen fairies did it for sure. Um, Good. Go. Look at that. Then you close your waffle iron and you dun, 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 get it to your standard of goldenness. Oh, I, love I like that. mine quite golden. Yeah, I prefer quite a, a nice caramelization on the on the outside, yes. and you want it to be nice and light and fluffy in the middle, so not too too dense with the dip. And that's my biggest thing is I often will leave it to soak for a little bit too long. Yes. So just kind of use a bit of restraint there, as I said. Easy peasy. Nice. No, I'm just going to keep holding these. And, until the next one comes yeah. around. I love it. And then <laughs> you can find it on expressoshow.com. I'm going to waltz across this side and have a little bit of a taste. Nice. Um, because these are going to get chowed. I have no doubt that these are going to last about three seconds. So I'm going to take one blueberry. Um, I love a good oh, old blueberry. On. It doesn't want to you. No. Stuck to that maple syrup. It, has, it doesn't know me yet. That's why it just doesn't know me yet. There we go. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, wow. Mm, mm, Ooh, mm. some ice cream on there would mm. have been like incredible. Absolutely, but the berries, you need that summer kind of fruit addition there, but the, it's the cinnamon and the nutmeg kind of shining through there. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful texture, amazing. Oh, absolutely delicious. If you want to make one of these for yourself, which I suggest you do for you and your kid lumps. Go and find it, expressoshow.com. Beautiful. Nice.